Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight I'm heading to the Palace Theatre in Manchester to see Greatest Days the Musical. Now this musical used to be called The Band and I actually saw this back in 2017 when I was heavily pregnant with my daughter and I remember Take That actually came on stage at the end. Don't think they'll be doing that this time round. Um, but really looking forward to it. I can't remember what the story is about fully. So I'm really looking forward to going and seeing it. I'm going to be sat in the stalls today. I think I'm on row R, seat 31. And yeah, really looking forward to it. Going to show you all the merch. And hopefully you can record the curtain call at the end. I think you can. So hopefully I'll be able to record that for you as well. And then when I get home, I will obviously review the show for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. So I'm now at the tram station, it's a poster for Great Days, which I'm going to see tonight. Tram's due in six minutes. It is now oh, six, so hopefully I'll be okay to get to the theatre by seven. It doesn't start till half seven, so I should have plenty of time. And I don't have to buy a ticket today because we went to town this morning, so I've already got one. So luckily I remembered because once I've forgotten, I end up buying another one. But I've remembered today that I've already got one. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters sink gold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine. I'm So it is now 10 to 7, just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square. I'm just gonna walk up to the theatre now and should get there. It takes about five minutes to walk, so it shouldn't take too long to get there. full today actually and um, when I looked I think they've actually closed off the grand here and um, so it's just the stalls and a circle open so so it shouldn't be too busy tonight which is good so I hate it when it's busy So I think I'm just going to go across the road and take a picture, although it is pretty busy across the road, I think people are queuing to get into another venue, but I'm just going to go across and take a picture.
okay so i'm in the stalls today i'm on i can't remember what row i'm on actually um i think i'm on the end of a row seat 31 i think it's s31 i'm gonna go down and see what it's like so we are 31 so this is my seat and then this is my view from my seat so they actually took my big camera off me so it's not actually allowed in the venue which I'm a bit shocked about considering I bring it every week and uh, use it and I've never told before but they're looking after it for me so the view. Hopefully it's nothing too high up. Yeah, looking forward to it starting now. So they've actually closed off the grand tier and then moving everyone from there to the circle or the store. So yeah. Got my program. This was £5.50. Uh, but there was no other merch, nothing else. This was all they had. So couldn't get a magnet or anything. Uh, the guy said they're hoping to get some merch for later down the line. So yeah only programs this one. Hi, so it is now the interval and I'm really enjoying the show. The story is really good and the music's good and I'm starting to remember it from the last time I saw the, the show. Yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, I'll obviously give you a full review when I get it.
is finished now. It was really good. So, really enjoyed it. Now I've got to try and find someone to get my camera back. So, I'm going to go up here and find someone to get my camera. So, I'm at the tra tram station now. Just missed one, but look, there's another one in two minutes. So, not too long to wait. In fact, I think it's coming now. I'm now back from the show and thought I'd just give you a quick review of it. So obviously I went to see Greatest Days the Musical at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. The show features music from Take That and the book was written by Tim Firth and the story was really good. Really enjoyed this musical. Uh, so for this show I was sat in the stall. I was on row R, seat 31, and the view was really good from there. It's an end of an aisle um, seat, and I thought my view was excellent. So yeah, the view was really good. I think I paid £25, £27, I paid £27 for my ticket, which is more than I usually like to pay, uh, but they just didn't seem to be reducing the tickets. However, after I bought this, they did then reduce the tickets to £29.50 for best available seat, so I probably could have sat a bit closer, um, but I was happy with my seat, it was a good view. There wasn't any merch for the show, which I was a bit surprised about. I was expecting it to have some merch. Um, when it toured last time, it did have a different name last time. It was called The Bar Musical. And they didn't have a lot of merch, but they had a few bits. Because I remember I bought a mug. Um, but yeah, they had absolutely nothing. The only thing they were selling were the programmes, which were £5.50. And that was the only piece of merch that they had. Um, they did say that they might be getting merch further down the line. Because this is only, I think, its second stop. Um, but that's not good to me. Well, I can't get my magnet from anywhere else. So, yeah, I think maybe it's coming to Liverpool. Maybe I could go there. Uh, but I don't really know. I do really enjoy this musical, though. It is a very good musical. So if you don't know the story of Greatest Days, it actually follows a group of girls from their teenage years um, to when they are to 25 years later, when they're, I think, approaching 40. Um, so the first half of the musical sort of tells the story from when the girls were 16 and then the second half is um, their older selves and um, the present. The story follows Rachel who is a young 16 year old girl who was obsessed with the band. They never actually name the band, they never say it's take that, they always just call it the band or the boys. Uh, so she's obsessed with the band as are her friends and her friend ends up getting them tickets to uh, the concert to see the band. So the girls go and see this concert, they have an amazing time and then on their way home a tragedy happens and they all end up going their separate ways and they don't see each other again uh, until I think it's 25 years later. So the first act focuses on the young girls and going to the concert and then the second act is when they meet up again um 25 years later and the reason they made it up again is because um rachel who's played by kim marsh she wins a competition to go and see the band in athens and she decides she wants to invite her friends from her childhood who she enjoyed the band with back then so she invites them and they all actually end up coming and we learn what their lives have become, um, 
how different their lives are from what they thought it would be um, back when they were 16. So the, the musical is mostly based around friendship. It also deals with loss and grief. And I actually, it actually brought a tear to my eye some bits. It was, it was some quite sad bit and emotional parts to this musical, which I, which I should have expected because I have seen the band before, and I, but I'd forgotten what the story was about. And it's, it's a really good emotional story. It's got a lot of heart. Um, it's not like some jukebox musicals where there's not much of a story to it, and they're just shoving in songs. This really does have a really good. Um, story to it and it features some great take that songs and i really enjoyed it definitely recommend this show one thing that did let it down though i have to say was the set the set basically consisted of a wall and some steps which they moved around and that was it there's a few props that they brought on um but not not really very much the set was very very simple um i definitely remember when i saw the band the set being a a bit more intricate like the part where they go onto a plane and in this they literally just walk up some stairs as I, and say they go on a plane but I'm sure when I saw the band there actually was a big screen or something with a picture of a plane on and it had stairs and they were walking up to the plane I'm pretty sure when I saw it last time the, the set was a lot more detailed so this just seems like a cheaper version of that because the set was is practically non-existent it practically was just some steps that they moved around there was nothing really much to it so if anything the set was the only thing that let this show down um, obviously the music was great all the acting was amazing the story is so good so yeah the only thing really that lets this down is the set the lighting was really good especially for the concert parts um, I think there was even a disco ball going around at some point. I definitely saw what looked like a disco ball, but it was it was really good. Um, the costumes were all very good, like bright and colourful. Each girl sort of had their own colour, um, which I thought was good. So like I said previously, Kim Marsh is in this. She plays Rachel, and her actual real-life daughter plays her younger self. And they were both excellent. I thought Kim Marsh's daughter... I can't quite remember her name after looking at the programme. I thought she was really good. I thought her, she was probably um, one of the standout performers for me, actually, in the show. I thought she was excellent. Really good. But the whole cast was excellent. I can't really fault anyone. I can't really pick a standout, really, because they were all excellent. Um, it's probably a good place to look at the programme now and actually show you the cast list and I can tell you who's actually in it. Okay, so this is the front of the programme. It just says the official Take That Musical Greatest Days. So, as usual, you've got your little moon advert. you got some information about shows that are coming to the Palace and Opera House. Information about the Palace Theatre. And then you've got your information. So you have... A little article here it's called 30 Years of Greatest Days. Um, about the pe first time people saw Take That. So yeah, you've got some pictures there. Swallowed on again here. And then you've got your cast list here. So. Uh, as you can see, Kim Marsh played Rachel, Emily Cunliffe played young Rachel, that is uh, Kim Marsh's daughter. Um, so playing the band you've had Khalifa Burton, Jamie Connor, Archie Durant, Regan Gascoigne and Alexander O'Reilly. So they played the band. Alan Stocks played Every Dave. Mary Moore played Young Debbie. Kitty Harris played Young Heather. Hannah Brown played Young Zoe. And Mari McGinley played Young Claire. Christopher D. Hunt played Jeff. Rachel Marwood played Heather. 
Holly Ashton played Zoe and Jamie Rose Monk played Claire. Then you've got your understudies. You've got your creative team here and your production team. And then you've got your musicians there. And then you have your cast biographies. So here we have Kim Marsh, she plays Rachel. Um, she is probably best known for her role in Coronation Street. Obviously she used to be in Hearsay as well. Um, she's been on the West End before. She's played Annette in Saturday Night Fever. Um, she's been in she's been in the Syndicate. She's been in Waterloo Road. So she's done a lot of work, TV work. Um, here you have Taylor Arman. He's an understudy. Holly Ashton. She played Zoe. Um, Zoe is like the she was like the most studious of the friends um i thought she played her very well and i thought the person who played young zoe which is is hannah brown i thought she was really really good i really enjoyed her performance of zoe um i just thought she was great you have caliph burton he's one of the boy band jamie connor he was one of the boys in the boy band benjamin Cameron, it was an understudy. You've got Emily Cunliffe as young Rachel. Um, and like I said, she is Kim Marsh's real life daughter. You had Archie Durant as one of the boy band members. Regan Gasdoin as one of the boy band members. Kitty Harris played young Heather. Bailey Hart is an understudy. Karen Holmes is an understudy. Keith Henderson is an understudy. Christopher D. Hunt was Jeff. Uh, Evangeline Jarvis Jones is an understudy. And then you had Rachel Marwood as Heather. Mari McGinley played young Claire. Mary Moore played Debbie. Jamie Rose Monk played Claire. Alexander O'Reilly was one of the boy band. Charlotte Ann Steen was an understudy and dance captain. And Alan Stock played Dave. And then you've got your song list here. So you have A Million Love Songs, Back for Good, Could It Be Magic, Do What You Like, Get Ready For It, Greatest Day, Hold Up A Light, It Only Takes A Minute, Never Forget, and patience and we've got pray relight my fire rule the world set it all shine the flood uh, the garden and these days then you've got your production credits and then just some adverts and that is your program so like I said, I really enjoyed Greatest Days. It was a lot of fun. It's a good, fun night out. Like I said, the story does have a lot of heart. It is a good story. It's not like the other jukebox, some other jukebox musicals where there isn't much of a story to it. This one does have a really good story. Um, it's quite sad in places. Definitely brought a tear to my eye in some parts. Um, so yeah, definitely go and see it. I gave the show four stars. Um, if they had a better set, it would have been five stars. I just think the set just let it down. Um, but yeah, I gave the show four stars. I really enjoyed it. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, if you do want to see it, it is on at the, at the Palace Theatre in Manchester until Saturday. So until the 27th of May. Um, so yeah, do try and get a ticket um, because it's a great show. So I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog and review. If you do enjoy theatre vlogs and reviews, then please do subscribe and hit my notification bell. You'll be notified when my next one goes up. I'm going to see Dirty Dancing next week. And then the week after, I'm going to see The Commitments. So I do have a few uh, things lined up. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see any of them, do 
subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.